So how awkward do you think Father's Day is at Wayne Manor? Hey everyone, Jeremy here. Today I'm about to watch Titans episode 7. Wow, yeah, 7. Uh, we are just past the halfway point, or at the halfway point, depending on how you want to look at it. And wow, what a season it's been so far. It's far exceeded my expectations. I was hoping for a season comparable to last season, and it really... It's gone past that to a degree. I, I really like the Red Hood storyline that they're going for here, and I love Crane. I absolutely love Crane. So I'm I'm really in for this season, as long as, you know, it doesn't derail too much. Now, last week, last week, we finally got our hints at what's really going on with Jason. And I, I my theory is, at the moment, that it is the drug basically turning him into a complete sociopath, it is diminishing all of his feelings, even those of, say, guilt or remorse, which is why he can do all the things he does. He is addicted to this drug because it takes away all the bad feelings that he ever feels, and that's what's turning him this way. He doesn't have any real emotions. He has no empathy for anyone. And take that away from anyone, and you've got a sociopath. You've got someone who could potentially kill and murder anyone and not feel a thing about it. I think that's what's going on with Jason, and Crane knew. Crane knew. He knew how to manipulate him and turn him into this weapon that he could use against Gotham, and it worked. That is, that's where I'm at with the theory, anyway. So, let's get to this week and see what other massive, massive drops we get. I was wrong about you, Jason. I underestimated you. Good work. Now, my dude, you can relax. I'm not the Batman. Damn, those attacks tonight were awesome. Uh -oh. What are you doing that? <laughs> like I said, I'm not the Batman. Oh no. You're behind Red Hood? That's right, Valeska. Call it a social experiment. You got a problem with that? If I was going to gas you, you'd already be laying on the floor, peeling your skin off, starting with your eyelids. <laughs> Man. Remember, right? Your basic instincts set free. Free from restraint. Free from conscience. Yeah. That's what my drug offers. There it is. And what is more addictive than that? That's what I did with Jason. Jason's gone. He's Red Hood now. It's time we all accept what he is. Now Crane has the multiplier. He's going to start mass producing this drug. Man, he sounds Imagine like what happens Bruce 30, right now. Gotham will tear itself apart. We need something that can see a little deeper. No, don't even ask. They'll never know. This sounds like something Bruce would say. Huh. If we well. don't use it, more people are going to die. You and I both know that. I don't know if it's in a clock tower, but it has a very clock tower vibe. You have company. Identification requested. That's very cool. Identify. Is there anything I can do for you, Mr. Grayson? The two of you like some time alone? <laughs> Command search, Dr. Jonathan Crane. Would you like to search private communications? Yes. No. Invalid answer. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Okay, Oracle is terrifying. You seem upset, Barbara. Would you like to share your thoughts? Command sleep. Of course. <laughs> Velasca Knox. My name is Claire. Firestar or something, right? Yeah, I've seen you on television. Firestar. Go home. Fix your face. Crane? Maybe. You really should. feel like he probably beat him there and just ran around the house waiting. <laughs> it's covered in lead. Okay, well then this is obviously a trap. As soon as it was lead lined, you should have been like, oh, trap. Oh, shit. You're gonna be okay. I can't defuse it. Dick, you have to go. There's no time. What are you talking about? Dick, there's no time! Ah! Gordon's pretty when she's scared. She knows we're in there. Yeah, well, duh. How predictable are the right 
righteous. Man, I love Crane as a villain. Yes. They had one weapon. And now... You made them destroy it. Now you're learning. Man, he is... Oh. Mr. Knox? Such a good villain. Sorry, you got the wrong guy. Sorry, I didn't cram it full of pinball machines and cat food. <laughs> what were you hiding? I love him talking like Jason to himself. Get out of my stash, Narc. Your fear of this machine cost us the one lead we had. If you can't keep your emotions in check, then you can't help me. Why are you pushing me? Wow. Away? Because you're getting in the way. So we go analog. We think. Unless you want to be emotional about it. Yeah, Dick's the one kind of being emotional here. I guess both really are. I thought it was clear about what I needed. I only came because Starfire. <laughs> what a surprise. I'll tell you what I know about Crane. I like to shake on my deals. Fair enough, Titan. Should kill her. I'm not only a type. Fifty substations. Barely noticeable on its own, yet an enormous amount of power overall. That's why Connor couldn't find the multiplier's power signature. Crane was hiding it. Hey, it is cool to see. Wait. What? Babs and Dick. We have a new problem. Play detective. What was it again? Freon. Louder. Freon. Thank you. Victor. Victor who? Victor Freeze. I know exactly where Crane is. What? 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 You guys have fun without me. Not so fast. Really like her costume. I wasn't there for you. Oh, nice. Oh, her costume's pretty cool, too. <laughs> Freaking. Oh, that looks good. You, you look good. <laughs> she does. <laughs> yep. He's here. Is Jason a Jedi now? <laughs> How did he? Well, we're here, fellas. Shoot up! Nice hero Shut shot. Up. Didn't think of everything, Crane. I could watch Nightwing fight for like an hour Run, solid. Yep. Awesome. It's all over. Heck yeah. Good, Good boy. I'm wondering what other skills you have. Sometime. Superboy is gonna be a man. Ooh, is Jason cut off from the drug now? That could have ramifications. When you left, you didn't want to leave, did you? Because I don't want you to. I need a chance to answer. <laughs> Expected. But still cute. Oh, is it gonna be his friend? 3 a.m. Who the fuck are you? Hi. Um, Molly? I'm yep. Gar Logan. Okay, so was the Victor thing just a reference and not an actual payoff? I That one threw me because I'm sitting there going, Oh, Vic, we're going to see Mr. Freeze? Are you kidding me? And then it was just the snow, or the, I was going to say snow cone factory, but ice cream factory. That's a bit strange. I I have to wonder if that is a setup, though. If I mean, what did Victor have to do with that other than Freon? That aside, it was really cool to see that Crane got foiled. Crane got completely foiled in a single episode. I thought, you know, in a lot of these uh, shows and such, it'll be like, oh, they ruined my first plan, but that was a part of the plan.
you know, no, in, in Crane's case, uh, no, they really ruined his plan. They really ruined his plan, and now he has to figure out what... I don't even know if he has a plan B. He uh, kind of seemed like he did, but he was also really desperate to get away, and it didn't feel like he had a solid plan B in place, let's put it that way. My biggest question is what happens to Jason now, because Jason is not on the drug. He's not been on the drug for a while. Whatever he took earlier doesn't seem to have been the drug that Crane had been giving him. It just knocked him out or whatever. It, dr it, it drugged him. So he's been off this stuff for a while, it seems like. He looked like he was in withdrawal. He was sweating, his eyes were dark. He looked like crap. So I have to wonder if he's going through a serious withdrawal from the drug and everything's gonna start coming crashing down i would mentioned this last week where i think eventually he if he goes off that drug he's gonna start feeling all those emotions that he has been suppressing with the drug he's gonna start feeling guilt for all the deaths he's gonna start feeling you know all the weight of the things he's done as red hood now crane won't want him to feel that yet he'll want him to feel miserable that's i think why he did that i think he took him off the drug just to make him realize, oh, see, see how much you need me, see how much you need to stay in line or else you feel like that. But he can't let him go like that for the long term or else he would actually, you know, start feeling remorse and not want to go along with Crane anymore. If that's the case, Crane has to actually start making new drugs for him. If anything, he's gonna lose one of his top lieutenants or his top lieutenant, arguably. So he's kind of in a jam, so unless he can get access to the drug, which he may have a supply on him, this may be nothing, but it would be really cool if it was something where next week he has to actually scramble to make the drug just to keep Jason under control. Because that can lead to bigger things later. If Jason gets a taste of what it's like to not be on the drug and starts to recognize what it's really doing to him and more to the point, what Crane is doing to him with the drug, then it could lead to Jason ultimately giving it up because he realizes the manipulation that's going on. Now, that's giving a lot of credit to Jason right now because he isn't the sharpest, you know, crayon in the box. However, he isn't dumb either. He's he he's studied under the Batman. He, he's friends with Dick Grayson. He should be able to recognize certain things. And I have a feeling this one's going to come back to haunt Crane. And I love that idea. I love the idea of Crane being the undoing of himself to a degree. As we saw this week, he unravels. He unravels when his plans don't go off like a hitch. And it was kind of nice to see. It was great to see the collected version of Crane and then that desperate, falling apart, losing his mind Crane at the end. My only complaint now is I really want to see him in the mask. I mean, come on, just give us the mask a couple of times this season. You know, save it for the big moments or something, but I, I, I need to see him in the mask. I need to see him in the mask, even though I love the actor. I love this actor. He's great. He plays chill, laid-back Crane so well, and then he plays desperate Crane so well, and he plays the menacing Crane so very well. He's... A lot of range there, and I freaking love it. All right, what did you think of this week's episode? Leave your comments below. Uh, do you have theories on what's going to happen next with Jason? Uh, do you think that he's going to be ultimately the one that decides his own fate, that turns on Crane? Do you think Crane's going to do something that's finally just the last straw and... Heck, maybe Jason offs him. I don't know. <laughs> Leave your thoughts below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to see more content like this, as well as share this with friends if you think they might enjoy it. All right, and before I go, as always, please take care of yourselves and please take care of each other. Thank you for watching.